or a meter. Be wonderful. Father, without your spirit, we can be nothing. Lord Jesus, you are the greatest of honor and humility. Spirit of the living God, you are the ancient that teaches us all things. May you speak to the church. May you align my lips of clay to speak as of the oracles of God. Father, may you help who you intend to help by your spirit that I may not be the hindrance. Like in the house of Cornelius, we thank you, Lord, that as the word of the Lord is delivered, the Holy Spirit fell. We do refuse to depend on what we know, but to depend on you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. 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 Let's look at Matthew chapter number 16. Matthew 16. Matthew 16. Verse number 30. I will wait for you to get there. Because I'm going to tell you about Jesus. But I have a serious problem. Whenever the word of God is not treated with integrity, and whenever a minister takes his audience for granted, so I'm not going to leave any school in tent. And um, we are not selective. Whether it be on doctrine or where we are, we equally uphold the king and his word. Because the word of, because the word of God is above time, culture, and space. And it remains the same. You can teach it differently in another place and teach it differently in another place. It's the same word of God. To God be the glory. So I pray that God may open the eyes of the understanding. Let's look at this verse and closely look at the verse. It says, and when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men, and here plural, who do men, say that I, the son of man, am? The same verse is found in other gospels as well. You find it in the gospel according to Mark. Find it according to the gospel according to Luke. Right, hold on, Luke. Only John. This John. What is I doing? I want us to read the verse again. And when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? That's the first question. Keep with your car. All right. I want us to complete the verse. And reach verse. In fact, we're supposed to go until verse um, 27. But, but I'm going to stop somewhere because I want us to, to know what Christ is saying. If we cannot afford to misrepresent him in his actions. We cannot afford to misrepresent him in his words. Now verse 14. Verse 14. And they said, Some say, this is an answer, that thou art John the Baptist. Remember the question. 
Some say you are Elias. Remember the question is one but there's already two answers. And others say you are Jeremiah. And others are saying just one of the prophets. Probably they were referring to Elijah and Elisha because Jesus was ministering in Galilee. Famous prophets in Galilee. And then verse, verse number 16. Instead of Jesus answering, he continues to ask the second question. And then he says, He said unto them, but whom say that I am? Now he's, he's no longer asking public opinion. Now he's asking his disciples. He's saying, but, but, but you guys that I'm with, who do you say that I am? So house of God, we are faced with two questions that we should be able to answer accurately in order for our identity in the city and our mission in the city to be fulfilled accurately. What are people saying about Jesus? What are you saying about Jesus? And then Simon Peter came to the rescue. Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. You should check the answer. It's a twofold answer. Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One, and then Son of the Living God, divine implications. Now he's answering the Jewish mind. Then I feel no more. It does not Please evidence. be patient with me because I'm not in a rush. Jesus answered and said unto him. Jesus answered and said Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah. When I Petrus Bar Jonah, or Solon of Faith. He called him by the name of his father. Blessed are thou, Simon Bar Jonah. For flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But my father, which is in heaven. In simple terms. Peter. 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 Petros. You were used as a channel to answer a divine question. But the person that must get credit for this answer is the Father in heaven. You are just a channel that was used. Your mouth was used to declare exactly what the Father is saying. So Peter, Petros, in your mouth, you recorded and you spoke exactly the words of God the Father. Yeah. Take time with the text so we can appreciate yeah. the truth from gospel. Yeah. And then Jesus calls him Bar John. I'll explain that. Alright, let's move on so I can finish reading. And I say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell. Can the church say the gates of hell? Can I have the gates of hell? It is where the problem is. Because every time we hear the word hell, we always uh, code it from a generic sense. Generic sense. And you must follow. Did he mean Gehenna? Did he mean Hades? Or did he mean the grave? Or did he mean the grave? Or did he mean the grave? Right on at yeah. Do we get it? Because if, if, if you're going to use the road, wrong word of hell, you don't understand the interview or the conversation between Peter and his disciples. So, so we want to be contextual. And uh, 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 Jesus is the only preacher. Jesus Christ, the king of hell, who talks about hell more than any other person. In reference to hell's fire. When he makes reference to Gehenna. So in any preacher's 
preacher of the gospel who denies the judgment of hell is not a good story for another day. He says that he does not stop there. In verse 19 he says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth. Let me hasten to say to the church. He's not talking about Satan here. Ramu Paida in the scale of one. Ramu Paida in the scale of one. How weak are we? He does not talk about the devil. He says, because of the thing that you said, that come from the mouth of the Father, you will bind some certain behavior and release a certain behavior in the church. It does not say a special demon or a spiritual husband that troubles anyone. That troubles anyone. Conversation is a kingdom conversation on how to administrate the affairs of the kingdom using the right keys. In all I get him, and we get understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And then he doesn't stop there. I, I am paraphrase. The next day or days after, Jesus changes. He says, now that they know about my identity, let me tell them about my destiny. And then he says, the time is near to go to Jerusalem. And when I get there, I they are going to kill me. I'm going to be submitted to the hands of the, 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 the elders, the scribes. And they are going to kill me. Simon Peter for the first time. 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 He has never rebuked God, but he did that day. Today I want you to understand why did he rebuke God. Simon Peter. Simon Peter calls Jesus on the side. And face to face. Far it be from you, Lord. You dying. Jesus looked at his disciples. Rebuking you. And now, this is now a relationship between a rabbi and a disciple. Now, the disciple is teaching the master. And when Jesus looked into that scenario, literally, the tone of the text means he acted. I, I, I will want to demonstrate that for now. Literally, he said to him, Get behind me. Because yesterday, God was speaking through you. Today, Satan is speaking through you. And then he says to you, In order for me to save him, take back your place, man. Because this matter of me dying of the father of the father. You spoke the identity of the father Now you are against the mission of the father So get behind me In the church If the pastor say get behind me We will never offer you the next service We will never because you do not understand Jesus is answering Satan just so Arab and putting Peter in baptism I will explain Father we thank you for your word let's go back to the net why was the question asked what were the questions can I have two chairs because I was not going to say because sometimes if you do not take time to explain these things we are going to be in trouble okay this is chair number one this chair represents an idol this chair number two also represents another idol 
want to understand the verse. Why was it written? Why was it there? What was God trying to communicate? So this is me and you. We are disciples. You represent the twelve. Between us, we represent the twelve. So Jesus is traveling with his disciples. When they went to Ga to 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 uh, Galilee, in the uh, Jesus' home based uh, uh, his home based uh, ministry was in Galilee. Not just a ministry in Galilee. Jesus never asked this question. He, he never asked people, who do you say that I am? He never asked people, who do they say in, in Tembisa that I am? When they went to Capernaum, this question was not asked. When they went to Nazareth, this question was not asked. When they went to Galilee, other regions of Galilee, this, this question was never asked. There was a reason when they got to a place called Caesarea Philip. That the question was asked. What is it that is in the place? That activated the master to ask the question. It was never asked in other places. I, I am it is because of what is there in that place. It was not there in other places. If you, if you check Jesus' ministry travel, you begin to see that his ministry has expressed in the Gospels. In the four P's to, to, to describe his ministry. The first has to do with his ministry preparation. These are the first chapters of every gospel. The second P has to do with his popularity because of the miracles he performed. That P regards he has, is with regards to persecutions because of the messages he was preaching. And the last P includes Passover. Which has to do with his death. So, in every gospel, you have Jesus going through those stages. Things happen, don't happen, haphazard. When he answers the Pharisee, he's answering the Pharisee accurately, but he's also releasing lessons and teachings for disciples. When he's casting out a demon, He's not just casting out the demon. He's also providing out lessons. When he heals a blind man, he tells us that he is the light of the world. It's not just a miracle for demonstration. It's also a miracle for education. We have here the greatest master. We have here the greatest teacher. Ever and uh, it is so nice when you do a Everybody talk about Jesus. The subject is so deep, it is so fast, so great, so simple, even know yet profound. His person. Yeah. And his works. I want you to look at this verse. You work with these disciples. Now they reach a region called Caesarea Philippi. 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 Now they reach a region in the cave. If you check those maps in Jesus' times, was a cave. So there was a, an idol. Another oh. idol. Herod. Herod. The king. Muren. Ule a builder a temple. Ule a heart and pain. I dedicate uh, it to Caesar. I I I I I I I I I I I so there was an there was an image of Caesar. And that image of Caesar was worshipped in that temple. Remember who Caesar is. Caesar is a man. Caesar who was worshipped as God. 
Caesar was a man. Caesar in any moment worshipped as God. And to me, so Jesus comes into that environment. Caesar, most Caesar is worshipped as God. So he is a man. But he's worshipped as God. Alright? One was in that place again. There was another image of Pan. Let me explain what Pan is. Pan was regarded as a god of nature. So this image, it had the image of a man and an animal. Now, this image called Pan, that's where we get the word panic. We get it from Pan. Now, what is happening here is that Pan was a god, small letter god, who presented himself as man. He was a God who presented himself as man. So look at the two images. You have a man who is worshipped as God. You have a God who presents himself as man. He's in the same temple. Now the true God man and Lord Jesus Christ comes into that environment of idolatry where there are altars to other gods and when you cast them he asks a very key question that people in this area must be able to tell me who they worship now I need to know if Caesar, I'm a Caesar, true God man, and Pan is a true God man, what do they say the real deal that I am? I need public opinion because they cannot dethrone Pan, they cannot dethrone Caesar until they answer accurately. So listen, we are going to remove altars. We are going to destroy altars. We are going to eat like Gideon. We are to tell you this. We are answering a question. You are destroying an answer. We are answering a question. We are answering a question. Who is Jesus Christ? In your own family. In your own house. In your own house. Because they are standing idols on the I just want to tell about disciples back. Jesus come with his disciples. He gets into this place. He needs an answer. And the question is, who do they say in Caesarea Philippi that I am? Caesarea Philippi Barikin Nama. Mamela public opinion. Uncle public opinion. I know revelation. I know revelation. I know tenure. In an information. In an information. And from information, what are information? Those who saw Jesus doing certain things, I they associated Jesus with those things. You to say, first answer. Who do you say that I am? You're not in Answer number one. Yapi, who John the Baptist? Baro Johanne Mukulubit. Is that the wrong answer? It's not a wrong answer. It's just an incomplete answer. Answer number two. You are Elijah. They refer you to Elijah. You are Jeremiah. And you are one of the prophets. In a hand. Think about it. The community. The community, the public, public is giving four answers about Jesus. It simply means that there was not a, a there's no proper preacher in the area to give them one answer about who Jesus is. Just so will not be any need to worship this one. And not need to worship this one because by the Virtue of the gospel, the true God was revealed. We need to lay on our heart. Are we investigating the answer? Let us investigate the answers. The first answer, John the Baptist. 
John the Baptist, John the Baptist, this one guy. Where does it come from? It comes from the house of Herod. It's a where Kunya Herod. It's a man named one Herod. It's a, it does it come from the son of Herod. Remember what he did? Who put on a Wednesday? He imprisoned John. When I told John, he beheaded him. I'm a howl. So it comes from the political house. It's a uncle in any politics in Caesarea Philip. Because that was his reason. So the political house has answered. Jesus is John the Baptist. Raised from the dead. Second answer. We, we are drawing answers from the public. Now, Herod Antipas has answered. Herod Antipas to Arabi. Get John the Baptist. Are get John the Baptist. Second answer. You are Elijah. But you are Elijah. You are Elijah. But you are Elijah. How do we associate Jesus with Elijah? We associate John with Elijah. John is just only Elijah. In Galilee. Halele. No one see who Arona leva prophet by two. No one see who Arona leva prophet by two. There was no that there were two prophets that performed miracles there historically. But I tell me, hello, who are the historians? It was Elijah. It was Elijah. And Elisha. Like Elisha. So, how do they associate Jesus? But they don't know who they saw him perform these miracles. How about when I tell me, hello, you? They said no. But he is Elijah. He is Elijah. Do you see that? Oh, but I cannot. No, I keep asking you. Read the dream scripture. I don't want us to read dream the scripture. Public people are asked who are historical, but who Jesus is? How do you make the connection? They connect the miracles of Elijah and Elisha to say Jesus is Elijah. 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 Who's our Carabao public? It's Jeremiah. But I did Jeremiah. How do you know Jeremiah? Prince of John Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah is known as a prophet of confrontation. On that same day, John was a prophet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confrontation. So on the first Passover, that's recorded in the book of John. A Passover, he recorded in the book of John. When Jesus made a whip, a Jeshual, and began to confront priests in the temple. Ah, 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 ah. Confront the priests. He beat them. I was sharp. They associated Jesus. The open of Jeshual. Confrontational spirit. I am who that. We live where all confrontation. Which one? So they answered. But Araba, I get Jeremiah. But I is is Jeremiah. So Bamu Tiba ni John the Baptist. Hey, no, he means John the Baptist. But I get John the Baptist. Hey, Bamu Tiba ni Elijah. Hey, no, he means Elijah. But I get Elijah. It seems Elijah. Bamu Tiba ni Jeremiah. Hey, no, he means Jeremiah. But I get Jeremiah. Now there were many prophets in Israel. Who are the prophets of Bamu Tiba Israel? Other people in the crowd. But who are the ones who simply said, "Bari, I is one of the prophets." He is one of the prophets. One question. Put away your way. Four answers. Be careful about them. What is the public? Public it is saying about Jesus. Barenga Jesus. How they answer? But Arab Jews ask whether we preach the gospel or not. Re na re 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 gospel like a pun no a che. You know how 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 do you how do you dethrone idolatry at home? You also can say, "Who is Jesus?" You ask people in that house. Oh, but it's about to be you. Who is Jesus? Jesus, the man. And we come to one hour. Hi, Jesus. Come and see that there is no Jesus. Amen. Kakati alo 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 alo. Apo na di di conversations and di conversations. Kama sasa kama alo alo alo. In the days of negotiation, we see them. Kali tatu eta itimli ifu. In that house. In the days of the fear of the Lord, ask the question: Who is Jesus? Just look at me. And then you begin to see that even though they don't have Caesar, but they don't have power. But they have power. Marabana le unhumus mama. They have the crown. What was? The lineage of mama. The lineage of Lord. They still observe them about you. Why did Jesus ask the question? Why did Jesus show about the temple? Because he was jealous. 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 Asked this question in other places. Because he was never provoked to jealous. And he got into an environment where other people are giving credit to him. Nobody is giving him credit. Telling it's a high. Woo! Amen. 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 Amen.
Ore na bara pela i. Kaka la mo ya bon. Who they answer? We will know. We will see. We must ask the brethren in church. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Then we will find out. Then we will find out. They capture the concept of the gospel. We will capture the gospel. It's a simple text. Then we will not fail. That has to do with the question. It's a kind of question. That question. In purpose, we have enough power. In other matter, manga to change the city for God. Or to change the city for God. Sina ori kima moto ori kima so shalom ora Jesus look at Jesus I did entertain the questions that they for he does not entertain these four questions instead what does he do what does he do or what does he do but it's a man in the world now he said this one I I I I work with them for a long time let me leave the public let me a little to help public they have had my teaching probably let me to those are they have had my teaching probably let me to those are times the problem is not with the it's not that the, the disciples have not had the teacher. The problem is not that you don't have a good teacher. The question is that you are not a follower. Because we are still observing your idols. Look at this method. The disciples. Jesus asked the disciples. I cannot tell any public opinion. I cannot tell any opinion in public. I cannot tell a personal opinion. I don't care a personal. I have a personal opinion. Do you say? No, na. That I am. Le rike ma. Who do you say that I am? Le rike ma. Kishoto was silent. What will happen? Because the twelve were being asked. Oh, but 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 my shoe, my shoe, my shoe, my shoe, my shoe, my shoe. Because the father did not interject. I didn't interject. Has that taken any? You would have probably gotten twelve answers. We not only try to get about ten, 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 Peter, Petros, mouth was arrested. We will go high in the tower. By revelation, catch the mood. And he said the following: Are you are the Christ? Are you Christ? I want the church to capture this. You are the Christ. Are you Christ? I give answer A. It is a key answer A. Give answer B. What's that? The the beast. The son of the living. God. Christ. Christ. Listen. If you are in the synagogue, I go in the synagogue. You say things about the Messiah. Over it into the Messiah. I will produce. They just communicate. By course. If you are in the synagogue, I go in the synagogue. You call someone son of God. Over it into the temple. They don't just communicate. By course. They pick up stones. Banka maju. Because of blasphemy and the stone, about Shabagama. Those two statements, the statements is an answer to the mouth of God. Telling Karabo Homo no Mamutim, they are an offense to the Jews. Yeah, did he offense from the Jews? Their life was built on the Messiah. But Karabo na ana abe a hero me Homo no Mamutim. For a man, but the Bible makes him one who is just anointed like God. Only to find out that God will put on flesh and anoint himself through the Holy Spirit. So they did not expect that this man who is coming is also God. So to say such things. And it will instantly be more Peter. And come from the mouth of Peter, being a Jew. He was Jewish. Is that God is was trying to show him all this time? The works that I'm performing. The works that I'm doing. Only God. The works that I'm performing. The works that I'm doing. 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 He preach so that people may take decisions. I'm as motivational as you. I'm motivated. He's not a motivational speaker. He's like John. Only repent or perish. Only fetu or only osho. Kaba osho. I preach only so that he can be invited back. Ha! Rabbi Lord, you know who they're going to invite hard. He's preaching so that people can make a decision. Only that I will be is. What is what he says? So that we can man, we're not in theory. We're not in truth. Repentance and change, so that people may repent in truth. Amen. Peter, listen to Peter when he asks. You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Are you a Christ? Jesus, are before you take credit. Jesus, are you not going to credit? Are Simon? Simon? Are John? 
Barjona. Simon. Simon. Barjona. Barjona. They were not calling each other by surnames. They were calling each other by the names of their father. So when you say Bartimaeus, so when you say son of Timaeus, or Sumumura Timaeus, or Bartjona, or Bartjona, or son of Jona, or Mura Jona. So, mama na wesa iti. Listen on heaven. When Peter answered like that, had Peter said Araba Jalu, the answer. Carabo. It landed down. I feel the fasting. I feel the fasting. Actually, it revealed that Jesus was not asking people. He was looking for the attention of his father. Since Jesus is a son, he was asking a question about his identity. And he knew that only his true father can ask when a son asks a question about his identity. Only the father can answer. And from heaven, the standard in the midst of false God, my son, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. And immediately Jesus says, Peter, you cannot reveal my identity, and I leave you without an identity. I am the rock, you are the stone. And he says, Upon the rock of what you are the I will build an offensive church and the case of hell shall not prevail against it. No church. We are not just nice people. Nice is not the fruit of the spirit. Trust us in food and in Christ. When you think we are weak, politically we have a position. Economically we have a position. Religiously we have a position. But that position is inspiration. We represent the higher kingdom. We come as ambassadors. We come as emissaries. We come as apostles. To give heavenly answers to every situation. So you need to go back home.
He opens heaven. He opens hell. You need to tell the people the truth. We must tell the people the truth. In the last days, these are not the days of arguments. Arguments of what? Who knows too much? We need to all play our part in ensuring that we build the kingdom of God. But where does it begin? It begins by telling people who Jesus is. This is the greatest revelation. This is the ultimate revelation. This is the only revelation. This is the only message. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. If you want to see miracles, I'm the top. He said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. If you want to see the top, he said, I don't need it. So when he was asking the question, he was looking for his father's attention. He was saying, Father, tell this to you. Who am I? And the mouth of Peter called the revelation. But the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, Just run away. Flesh and blood did not reveal this. In your education, in your background, in background your house, your history, even in your history, only the Father has a revelation of my identity. So now, Peter, 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 Peter you are going to be a know what it means now? What about you? Know what it means now? What about you? It means it's you are going to be solid. When we come something solid, how become something uncompromised. This revelation cannot be made. By the way, Peter, Petros, your name is actually Simon. This Simon, two meanings. It means to hear. This but it also means a read. This You have been unreliable. After you've heard in the house of peace from the mouth of the Father, you participated in divine conversation. You participated in the dismantling of false gods. As a result of that, I'm calling you by the name of your Father, Simon Barjona. I'm now giving you a new identity. You shall be called Petros. A stone. Just something I can trust. Something I can use. Something I can use. Petros. 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 I am not building upon you. I am building upon what you said. How do you do it, Willie? Because what you have said, you can die. It was said and a hand that I will. When the Father spoke, when the church is being built, the church that we start is an offensive church. It's a military church. The shades of hell shall not prevail against it. I don't care what they say in South Africa. I cannot adore now, but in South Africa, the church. In fact, the church is in a better place. Some of us are just giving reports of a fallen church. There is a true church that is known by God. I'm talking about the remnant. The people who are playing games with the gospel. I'm talking about the people that are pure. I'm talking about the bride without spot and breaking. I'm talking about the church of God is, is, is alive and well. And it is not normally represented. And I, I represent you because it is hidden. Oh, the first presentation of it is that you 
know it. You will know it. You will know it. By now, it communicates the truth. We're not able to tell you the truth. It's offensive. We're not able to tell you the truth. Sometimes the truth is not going to offend you before it turns. You will be able to tell you the truth. Because you know we don't have preachers anymore. These days we don't have the preachers. We are having people who are just collecting an offering. We are not about to collect them for an offering. We don't have preachers anymore. I don't know about the We have people who are going around but to gain popularity. But what are you doing? And we can only stand on the very same pulpit. In Baba, the same pulpit and speak the truth. But we need because this. One represents the worship of the church. It will represent the worship of the church. The worship of the church. Worship of the church is not determined by prof. prof. The, the sound. I determine the kind of sound. Music. Music is not worship. I say worship. Yeah. Music. Music expresses worship. It expresses worship. Worship. Worship happens. It's a hard. after revelation. Come right here. God reveals Himself. He invites you to worship. I'm a sad boy. Invite you to worship. Okay. I am not sad. Ready and sad. He waits for you. About your name to worship. He tells you. He tells you. He waits for you. He waits for you. About your name to worship. He appears. He appears with splendor and glory. He appears as a mere man. You cannot stand. He has appeared on. And the only thing that you can do. Speak like Thomas. I am Lord and my God. Without any power indicating you, I am the true of revelation. I feel like you know. So, who determines the worship of the church? Who determines the worship of the church? The pulpit. The pulpit. Not the songs. It's in the pin. The songs must align with the doctrine. So, if you have a false doctrine, I beg you to give me a good music. Or any music, you have still a false worship. Or some other false worship. On what we teach, not just what we see. Simon Barjon. Simon Barjon. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Let me close. And he says to him, "I will give you the keys of the kingdom." Because now something solid. You can't find the God that you need. That means things not yours. What is this key? Or when whatsoever you bind, he said to him, whatever that you bind on earth. Who can offer us key? Who can offer? Have you ever been given a key that locks things in heaven and earth? Do you understand what? That locks things on heaven and earth. The Holy Man is the first thing. If you like, even the devil you can put him inside. If you like, after you close. You, you, know, you also go after you open bullets. You also open for him. He says, because you know who's Christ, you have the keys. What is the key? Revelation. People who who knows the ministers who know. But ready by the masters is Jesus Christ. They have a key. But that is not all. If there's a subject you really want to study, if you attend the Bible school, if you attend the Bible school, you attend the Bible school. Christology, Christology, his person, Matthew, and his work. Let me submit your hand. That is the gospel. The gospel, number two. How to have Christ? If you have Christ, you have the key. If you want to open them, be sure. We have the key. If you want to close them, be sure. We have the key. How are you handling this key? Or should I say not message or answer the question? Arab about who to name? But who say that I am? By the man, answer the question. Arab about who do you? When I say that I am? Or the man. Peter used the key. Scripture must interpret scripture. But the scripture is not always right. In the council of Jerusalem, the scripture is not always right. Peter said, "Peter said, Peter 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 
everywhere he goes, my name is followed by disciples. Everywhere he goes, my name. Because he keeps on teaching us. He teaches two ways. By what he's doing, first, and secondary, by what he says. People don't become what you teach. People become what you do before. Them. What you do before them, that's what they want to become. What you teach is supposed to complement. What you're doing. So, the rabbi Eri. The ways of Rabbi. What, what is the ways of the rabbis? This is the ways of the rabbi. How is the subject? Is that when you have the subject, everybody discuss up. That they discuss. And then one rabbi, Rabbi Omo, have realized. And we have a more evidence on that case or that subject. We have a more evidence on that subject. We have a more evidence on that subject. More than the other one, Boba Akiwasi. When they were speaking, they were speaking like this. The other one was saying, My mountain is about to crush your mountain. It will, it will, it will, it will sing at Tabayah. Can you explain that John Matthew chapter 17? I just want to say Matthew 17. Now we are in 16. I'm working the seed. When Jesus remembers the seed, the master seed that will remove the mountain. Now, over my mountain, he said, "My mountain will crush your mountain. We will destroy your mountain." In other words, on this subject, on this subject, I carry more of what it. It's very much because of what I know. Because of what I know, compared to what you know. So if we come to the court, in Bahrain, this case is met. In this case, I put my defeated. What was wrong? So, Mamela Peter Twerry. Listen, what Peter can tell him. Peter will get into a divine school. You went to a divine school. The school that you went to is the school of heaven. Listen, what they have taught you. Give the credentials to how. Heaven has credited you. Heaven has given you a doctor of divinity. That divinity. And heaven has said. All that you need to say. You are the Christ. You are the Christ. The Son of I don't care which lawyer comes. I don't care who comes with one knowledge. It is the foolishness of the cross. It's Christ and him crucified. Christ they have wisdom to the Greeks. And the power of God to the church. I will present this. You will be killing a mountain. I will crush other people's mountains. Listen, how does it work? In the cancer in Jerusalem. Some people have caused a problem about doctrinal circumcision. Some eh, they have caused a problem about circumcision. So apostles, elders, and the entire church have gathered. Apostle, the Judaizers who have caused this problem, Timon Abapele. But today they are the first people to speak. You say, I'm on the police teaching strange things. But I just a problem with them because they 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 Peter, Petros, because they respect him. On the way, on the way, he was having weight. I am. He stood. And I went to the house of Cornelius. I regularly to the Cornelius. When they, he's going for evidence. We enter my room, Kabuwa. As I said, you are not supposed to go to the house. We are not supposed to go to the house. The Lord protected him. We did more than protect him. We called to the professor from Harvard, the Almighty. We called to the 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 first from the Almighty God. In that, it didn't even be in that vision. Shabaoj, only in the room. I know you do. I know you do. I don't even think that. Then another teacher subject. I change. I don't say what I have said. I don't start doing this. It's not clean. It's not fair. So he's quoting two things. He's saying, "Oh, I just got a teaching. He told me to turn up heaven." I just entered the house. I am not supposed to enter. Exactly, I am not going to hear. And what I saw? Twenty by evidence number three. It is the same way. No, not the Holy Ghost fell on us on the day of Pentecost. And the way in our hearts, the twenty truths. Mama, you say the same way. The Holy Ghost fell on the church. In the house of the man that I regard as dead. Jesus Christ. Have the evidence here. When you put that evidence in court. James the elder. James Mohu. James the elder. James Mohu. Because the generation of the elder. Because the generation of the elder does not respect the elders. Because the generation only, the generation only 
only ones let things be done. Generation of the whole generation says, he said, Baba, and in order. Generation, they rather speed. But they do not want to order. Give them a cheese day. And they are mentioned in Jesus' day. Yeah, no father, no mother, no, no father, father, no mother. We don't know what does it take for me. I don't know what does it take for me. What does it take for me? 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 What does it we were born in the wilderness. And you are shouting, Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Who man? I didn't put in the gift. I was just passing. I was just passing. Give that moment of frustration. The moment of uh, frustration. James the elder. James the stood. I am. Peter and Barnabas, Paul and Barnabas. Paul was in Barnabas. Sorry, from the first missionary journey, as we were released from Antioch. That's your testimony. Paul and Barnabas were very powerful. Paul was in the Barnabas. In that meeting, meeting him all. He gave a testimony. He gave the testimony. Not a doctrinal dissertation. He sing a doctrinal dissertation. Peter, father. He gave the testimony. Who did the elder? Paul, get your Paul of Tarsus. Get a Paulos. The one who wrote almost a quarter of the New Testament. Yeah, I'm only almost a quarter. Yeah, yeah, the Testament, the angel. That day, it has been new. He testified. Ava, 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 ava. Amen. Listen. What is it? Banga, any decision. Based on our understanding on the subject of circumcision in the gospel. We are going to see so like the circumcision in the New Testament. Salvation. Put also go together. It's a medical and it with circumcision. This is how the council decided. The council of the council. Based on that revelation. Oh, yeah, that's him. They said, yeah. Bye. There's no need. How not? Who decided on trade or both and can I get out of it? They are going to be the one who is going to bind the world. Yes, it was not a revelation. So, not a revelation to a human. I know I don't know. I do men like Eric. They are binding. The words to bind them means to, to not to permit. The, the word loose to permit. To permit. So now they are using keys based on the knowledge of scripture whether to bind the church or to lose the church on the subject of circumcision. The two apostles were standing there. Apostle James. Apostle James. Apostle Peter. The apostle Peter. The other apostles. The apostle Baba. Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas. Listen, what happened? Peter presented a case. Petros represents the case that shows that there is no need. I will tell you not how. So what did he do? Wait a minute. He said to the church, "I will give you Gentiles. My Gentiles. As God is bringing the Gentiles and the Jews together. But this is the man who is bringing the Gentiles together. I lose. I don't have to be circumcised. I'm not going to be circumcised. I'm going to be circumcised. I'm going to be born again. I'm going to be born again. You see that stone? I'm going to be born again. Once entered. The Arab you are Christ, the son of the living God. Now he's answering on other subjects. Basing it on the authority of Christ. As Christ, the Christ, why are my children to be circumcised? The Apostle says, I'm so sorry. It's after that Peter. After Peter. Who are local. He released them. Check what happens. James are renowned. They are renowned. They are renowned. They are renowned. I know ten times. They eat food. Baza dijo. They go by the mat. Sacrifice to idols. They are loose on fornication. Ba 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 ba. As one apostle is loosing you from the council, now I'm binding you in this area. So the binding and the loosing happened. Oh, I'm a little bit like that. I'm a little bit like that. And there was no demon. It was issue of decisions and direction. The church needed to take. Now the same lovely Peter. You know Peter was here at the ham. And he said identity of Jesus. Yes, he said identity of Jesus. Be careful. 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 Be careful.
identity our boss shall be accurate. If you identity they were accurate, if you reveal what you are going to manifest. Listen what happened. Now I, I want you to do what I do. I am the rabbi and you are the disciple. You are Peter. So now, a rabbi by principle is supposed to walk before the disciple. For two reasons. One, for leadership. leadership. Two, to ensure that the other one sees what he is doing. So, if he's walking behind me, the word disciple means to fall. So if I go right, he must go right. If I go left, he must go right. If I go left, he must go right. If I go forward, he must go forward. If I go forward, he must go forward. Discipleship. Discipleship. Clear discipleship. Clear discipleship. Right? So, principle. Principle. The rabbi must always be in front. The disciple must always be at the back. Now, look at what happened. Peter. Petros, after he heard that Jesus said, I'm going, when he think that he left his things, his life was based upon this man. He said, no. I was behind. And he came. He came before. What happened? So if he's leading, high up, then Jesus is following. Just so again. And if Jesus is following, high up, just so again. Then he's the master. Get a master. And Jesus is a disciple. Just so you want to know. I want you to understand why Jesus is a disciple. I want you to understand why Jesus is a disciple. When you open his mouth and say, When you open his mouth, get behind. I'm ready. I'm around. Get behind. I'm around. Satan. Satan. He does not say Peter. He was helping his disciple to his place to go back to his position because he did not understand that he is still the one of the Father who showed you I am. He is still his will. Yes, Papa. So that you may be saved. May God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Father, we thank you for your word. For your word is alive, your word is powerful, your word is shepherd and in the double soul. We thank you for it is in work, it is at work in us. May it continue to work in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, may what you have opened today, Father, may we jump, Lord, into this revelation. May we catch it and may we walk in it in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. You are God, you are faithful, you are true, and you are awesome in this place. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the church said, Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, in our program, we are in the Iagopi. We will continue MC and worship team. I would just love to see if there is anyone who is not feeling well. Uh, if you can raise your hand there. And if there is anyone who is not born again, just raise your hand. If there's anyone who is not born again and they want to indeed reveal or to have the revelation of, the, of who the Son is, we'd love to also invite you to raise your hand wherever you are. We want to pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, just come, come here quickly. We want to pray with you. Lay hands on you. Let us stretch our hands upon him. The Bible says we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let's go. Close it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. We speak healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare healing over your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed. 
in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I speak healing right now over this child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are healed as I declare. And if you believe, it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, MC, thank you so much. Uh, we'll continue. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for the year, hallelujah. May God richly bless you, hallelujah. We have reached at the end of our service, hallelujah. The announcements that I have going next week, we have our love visit, hallelujah, next week, Sunday. And, yeah, that's it, hallelujah. 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 I've got it 28 of March. One of our sisters, hallelujah, is having a live recording. Amen. Hallelujah. Please let us support her. Hallelujah. And let us come and enjoy together. Amen. And uh, yeah, let us all stand. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As Murutu Fitile Mopili, Hallelujah. Let us take this time and sing him a happy birthday. Hallelujah. <laughs>